Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video on a uh, W204 M271 uh, Merck I'm busy rebuilding, uh, trying to help someone out. Uh, okay, so now I need to replace the timing chain on this guy. Uh, it's, it's currently sitting at 120,000 kilometers. Now I want to do a short video on removing the timing guys, these things here. Okay, normally this will be on the car, but that's a video for another day. Okay, basically, first of all, you're going to have these little clips on the side here. They go over there, over the cap, one over here, and one over there. I'll already remove that. So basically, you just use a um, something small and just pry that out there. And what you do is, on the inside of these pins, uh, keep in mind it does have a guide. It was now there. So you want to make sure when you put it back that that side lines up again. Uh, the inside has got little threads on the inside there. So what you do is you take a bolt, you screw it in, uh, screw it in all the way. Where's my tool? Sorry for the bad video quality. And you just screw that in all the way. Now see it's nice and tight there. Not too too tight, otherwise you might strip the threads out. Then you just got a little spacer there. Just then they'll go over the hole and a little bolt there. Like that. That's a size 10, and then just fasten. Now I've already broken it loose, so basically there. And then what I do to make sure that I'm not wrecking things, I move this guide right up against the that piece there. All right. So then as I move here, as I fasten that there, this one's going to move out. And if you can see the gap opening up there, as this moves out so you can check for that then another thing I want to do to make it a bit easier because obviously now you've tightened this very strongly because it's all press fitted in there so what I then do is I actually loosen this one a little bit and then I loosen this there. otherwise you're going to struggle to get the bolt out once you've already removed it and make sure that's hand, hand free you can move it with your hand all right Turn it back then, which is I'm going to hold this here while I'm using my 10 there to make sure that this bolt stays in place as I tighten there. And I'll show you guys how that's going to look in a few moments. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention every now and then loosen these ones and see how far you can still uh, tighten. Oh, yeah, wrong, wrong way. How far you can still tighten before your valve guide hits there because if you're gonna be removing the guide and it gets to the bolt and it can't go anymore, you're gonna strip the threads on the inside of that thing and you don't want that. So you just as you as you tighten this, just every now and then turn it back, make sure you can check uh, how far you can still remove it before it catches on the bolt. Okay, so I have now loosened that. It's nice and loose there as you can see. So I'm trying to try and hold this and see if I can move this quickly. There we go. Uh, hopefully you guys got, got that on camera. So then there's your valve. Now because we loosen this thing, now you just turn it out with your hand. Now it's not so difficult to get the bolt out. And there you have it. Take that one, chuck it away, put a new one in. And then this one goes in. But I'm first going to put the head back on the vehicle before I do this. And then uh, I'll probably do a follow-up video of how to do the uh, set the valve timing on the uh, engine. And that's what I've got for you guys for today.